This is a walkthrough of how the LinkedIn profile processor works. So this automation starts with a single input. It expects a LinkedIn profile. This is a link to my own profile. And what this automation is going to do is it's going to read all the content from that LinkedIn profile, and it's going to pass that into four different AI nodes. So this is just an example automation. It's uh, to show you what can be done, but it's infinite, infinitely customizable. First uh, of these AI nodes, we're going to use the extract and key information node. So we are extracting their full name from the profile, but we could be extracting their work history, skills, whatever you can imagine or whatever you want. Next, we're asking AI, specifically GPT-4, to generate a single sentence summary of this person's work history. Next, we're going to generate a score from zero to 100 uh, based on your custom defined criteria. I kept it kind of vague here, but if you wanted to have some specific reason for a high score or what a low score would look like, you can describe that just making some edits. Uh, and finally, we have a categorizer. So I defined all of these categories myself. You can totally customize them to be whatever you'd like. Then I combine these values and I output them here. If I hit run, it's going to be running this automation just like you built kind of a complex AI automation, but you didn't have to hire an engineering team. You just built it yourself. And the interesting part is that the inputs and outputs can be swapped out. You can customize this as much as you'd like. This is my profile according to the AI, the AI. but uh, you could swap out the inputs for, for example, a Google Sheet Reader if you wanted to read thousands of profiles at a time. You could swap out the end for a Google Sheet writer, if that's the flow that you wanted to, to follow, for it, so that all of the values are written back into your, your database of leads. Or you could write these values to your actual database or whatever CRM you might be using. This is the LinkedIn profile processor. One last note. You might think that this is kind of hard to interface with. If you were to send it to a colleague, they wouldn't know how to use an automation like this. So you can package any automation quite simply by just putting the input into show as user input mode. And then I'll say this is the LinkedIn. I hit save here. And then I open the user view up here. I now have a dynamically generated LinkedIn profile, uh, LinkedIn profile processing processor. So you can package your complex automations as simple little web apps, send them within your company as internal tooling, and automate really repetitive work. Thanks for watching. I will let this finish. And then I'll end the video. There we go. Great. Thanks.